Hello Libra, thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 9th of April. Well, your ruling planet Venus is forging a quite gorgeous angle to Mars, the planet of drive and of course the planet of more masculine uh, attraction. Whereas Venus for you is in a very deep and psychological part of your situation. If you're in a relationship which is getting closer and closer, the fact that you and yours can be very self-sacrificing to one another, yet in a way which is mutually beneficial, could just really seal the deal if you've been recently getting to know someone. For people who are longer established and it's going well, property can be very much to the fore in your thinking, or perhaps even a home-based business. If you're more entrepreneurial, pooling your talents and sharing what you have to offer could be very much of interest, providing you have realistic expectations and set some clear boundaries about who does and provides what. I think a longer standing relationship, perhaps even a family one, which isn't quite as sweet, could however be a, the pinch point of this week. Pluto, which has, as I've often said to you, has been so influential since 2008, is squaring up with the Sun this week. Well, it doesn't get much bigger than this. Although Pluto may be the tiniest entity in our zodiac system, this right angle suggests that if there is a relationship where the other person just doesn't seem to be able to match your natural listening skills, diplomacy, and quite honestly, your, your openness to meeting people in the middle, entering into give and take, then you really could put your foot down and show that you can be much more assertive. With Mercury also tracking backwards in your sector of relating, however, you must share how you feel in a good way and listen attentively, ensure that the other person knows where you're coming from. But most of all, try to avoid impatience. Impatience really could be a deal breaker this week. So if you cut people a little bit of slack, I do think it will be helpful. But then having said that, if someone is just totally overriding your, uh, your uh, boundaries, then you're going to have to make a stand. It's that powerful, quite honestly. But once Mercury moves at the end of this week into Taurus, we do get a bit of a change. It's gone through a very long period of time in the sign of Aries, about 10 weeks, uh, due to the retrograde. So I think that that period of time has probably been quite intense for relationships, perhaps in a very positive way. Perhaps there's been some very serious discussions to be had. Once it moves into Taurus, you're more concerned about what people mean rather than what they say. Even your own natural diplomacy can make way for a more forthright way of thinking and being. And this week also sees a superb angle between Jupiter and Pluto still, which can be very fortunate for you if you are trying to make some changes to where you live. Uh, improvements can add value to your property, or you may find yourself having a stroke of fortune around a rented accommodation too. But generally, around any kind of collaboration, you need to be working with someone who understands where you're coming from. And if that is a little bit of a sore point, I, I'm sorry, I do think that sore point is just going to become even more obvious this week. And you may have to really, as I say, be much more forthright. But if you are, make sure you're speaking from a uh, position of accuracy in terms of your facts and figures, that you're appreciating what your own role should be and your own responsibilities, but also that you're being as constructive as possible. Give the other person a chance to still come back and improve things. It's been a real pleasure being with you, and thank you for joining me. If you would like to like or comment on this video, or subscribe to my channel if you've yet to do so, please uh, do. But for now, good luck and goodbye. Thank you for joining me. If you'd like to know more, please visit my website at www.patrickarundall.com or download my free app in iOS, Google or Facebook at www.horoscope-ace.com. Thanks and goodbye.